It's now a nationwide manhunt for a 21-year-old former British soldier who escaped from Wandsworth Prison in London this morning. Daniel Khalif was awaiting trial on terror charges. It's thought he managed to get out by clinging onto the bottom of a food van. Police believe that he poses a low risk to the public, but people are being urged not to approach him and to call 999 instead. There have been alerts at ports and borders around the UK and delays at airports because of the increased security checks. Prisoner escapes are unusual. There have been just five since 2017. For the story of the day, here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford. The austere facade of Wandsworth Prison tonight. The jail at the centre of one of the most embarrassing escapes since the 1990s. After a former soldier facing serious charges of threats to the state, broke out by simply hitching a ride underneath a food delivery van. He is 21-year-old Daniel Khalif, who is accused of a bomb hoax and of collecting information for a hostile state. This morning he was working in the kitchen at Wandsworth Prison when at 07.50 he escaped through the main gate by hanging onto the underside of a food delivery van. A nationwide manhunt began immediately, but at 15.30 counter-terrorism detectives decided they needed to go public, appealing for help in tracking him down. He was at the time of his escape wearing red and white check trousers, a white t-shirt and brown boots. He's a six foot two um, male with He's very slim build, but with dark brown hair. So uh, we, we just appeal to the public to look out for him and, and call us on 999 if, if there's uh, any sightings of him. Daniel Khalif joined the army in 2019, and in 2022, he became the focus of a counter-terrorism investigation. He's accused of being involved in a bomb hoax on the 2nd of January this year, and on the 26th of January, he was arrested. The charges he faced include preparing an act of terrorism and collecting information useful to an enemy believed to be a hostile state. This is a very serious breach of security, and it throws up a number of, of questions. I mean, firstly, what was this man doing in Wandsworth Prison? Wandsworth is a Category B um, reception and resettlement prison, so it's not an obvious place for somebody who's been charged under terrorism offences who uh, is a potential national security risk. Counter-terrorism detectives here at Scotland Yard are keen to stress that they don't believe that Daniel Khalif poses a particular threat to the public. The charges he faced didn't relate to something like a knife attack or a bomb attack, but they are advising people that if they see Khalif, they shouldn't approach him, rather they should dial 999. Nonetheless, the public were affected by the all ports and airports alert, which led to extra checks. This in turn led to huge queues building up at airports, including Stansted, Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester and Glasgow. Wandsworth was at the centre of one of the most famous prison breakouts when the great train robber Ronnie Biggs scaled the wall with a rope ladder in 1965 and started a new life in Rio de Janeiro. 1994 saw the last escape by inmates linked to terrorism when IRA members broke out of Whitemore prison. The red and white checked trousers and white shirt that Khalif was wearing when he staged the embarrassing escape were one of the cook's uniforms at Wandsworth Prison. He must have been very distinctive when he first broke out before he managed to change clothes. Well, we'll speak to our political editor, Chris Mason, in Westminster in just a moment. But first, Daniel Sanford is at Scotland Yard for us. And just bring us up to date with the latest, Daniel. Well, there are no signs of any early breakthrough in this manhunt. And in fact, the immediate omens don't look that good either because the best chances of catching someone after an escape is in the early hours when they haven't been able to travel very far. And I think the fact that uh, Scotland Yard decided to go public this afternoon and ask for the public's help suggests that any trails that they did have may have gone cold. But the uh, Counter-Terrorism Command have a good reputation of getting their man. They can draw on enormous resources from their own network, from other police forces, from the border force, and of course from the security service MI5. So they will remain optimistic that they'll catch him. But of course there are two investigations going on at the moment. There's the manhunt for the escaped prisoner. There's also the prison service investigation into how it is that a man who was seen as possibly a threat to national security was able to take the most direct route out of a prison on a vehicle through the main gate. And you can be absolutely sure that vehicle search procedures are being tightened up as we speak. Mm. Chris, in Westminster, uh, just how awkward is this situation for the government then? Richard, I was talking to one senior figure here at Westminster tonight who described the life of a cabinet minister, saying you're only ever one day away from disaster and the extraordinary moment came this morning for the justice secretary 
Alex Chalk when he was briefed on what had happened, that incredible sequence of events at Wandsworth Prison. What happened after that is an urgent call was set up between the minister and the prison governor and other senior prison service officials. And tonight, as Daniel mentioned, an investigation launched to try and work out what on earth happened and how it happened. Plus, why was this man being held in a Category B prison rather than a high security Category A prison? But there's also on top of that some politics brewing around all of this. So Labour are making the claim that the government has driven the criminal justice system into the ground, that there is a problem as far as recruiting within the criminal justice system is concerned. And the local MP, the local Labour MP for the part of South London where this prison is, has dredged up some statistics she got hold of six or seven months ago relating to a particular day at the tail end of last year and the rotor pattern for prison officers at Wandsworth Prison, suggesting that they were seriously understaffed, filling gaps in that rotor. The government saying tonight that that is just a snapshot and they have recruited more prison officers this year than they had...